Hello, potential franchisee. Are you ready to dive deeper into the franchise disclosure document? Well, you're in luck because today, we're going to explore item 21, which is all about financial statement disclosure. Now, let's jump into item 21. When it comes to making informed decisions about a franchise opportunity, financial transparency is crucial. That's why franchisers are required to include three years of audited financial statements in item 21 of the franchise disclosure document. These financial statements provide valuable insights into the financial health and stability of the franchise company. Now, let's take a closer look at what this requirement entails and how it impacts you as a potential franchisee. In item 21, franchisers must disclose audited financial statements for the franchise company's most recently completed fiscal three-year period. These financial statements include income statements, cash flow statements, and balance sheets. It's important to note that the requirement is limited to the financial statements of the franchise company itself and does not include any affiliated or parent companies, unless they guarantee the franchisor's financial or performance obligations. For startup franchisors who are new to franchising, there's a specific phase in process for financial statement disclosure. During the first year of franchising, the franchisor may start with an initial opening balance sheet and a year-end audited closing balance sheet. Then, Complete audited financial statements are phased in. This phased approach allows new franchisors to comply with the requirements while considering their limited operational history. Now, let's summarize the key points of Item 21 Financial Statement Disclosure. Within Item 21, franchisors must include three years of audited financial statements, including income statements, cash flow statements, and balance sheets. These financial statements must be prepared by a peer-reviewed certified public accountant, and they should be presented in a three-year column format. Additionally, the financial statements must include an auditor's consent letter and an opinion letter. For new franchisers, the financial statement phase and process allows them to start with an audited opening balance sheet in their first year of franchising. In the second year, an audited year-end closing balance sheet is added, and by the third year, full audited financial statements are included. This phase and process helps new franchisors comply with the requirements while considering their limited operational history. It's important to understand that the financial statement disclosure requirements in Item 21 serve the purpose of providing you, the prospective franchisee, with vital financial information about the franchisor. State regulators review these financial statements to ensure their sufficiency, evaluate the franchisor's solvency and capital sufficiency, and make informed decisions regarding franchise registration. That's a wrap on item 21. Financial Statement Disclosure Requirements Remember, our free comprehensive guide to the FDD is your ultimate resource for understanding all the critical aspects of franchise disclosure. You'll find the link in the description below. It's time to empower yourself with knowledge and make informed decisions on your franchise journey.